गुरु साहिब जी गुरु नानक पद पंक जे बंदन पद पंक जे बंदन सिमरो अंगद दोख निकंदन अमर दास गोर हृदय त्यावो गुर हृदय त्यावो गुर राम दास गुन गावो गुर अर्जन बेगनन के नासक बेगनन के नासक श्री हर गोबिंद सुब समत प्रकाशक श्री हर राय नमो कर जोरी नमो कर जोरी श्री हर कृष्ण मनाय बहोरी तेग बहादर परम कृपाल जी परम श्री गुरु गोबिंद सिंह बिसाला तरो तर पर पुन पुन सीसा जी पुन पुन सीसा वंदो बार बार जगदीसा दोरा जिसमें अमृत ज्ञान है मानक भगत वैराग गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब उदत बंदो कर अनुराग श्लोक डंडौत बंद ने अनिक बार सर्व कला समरथ डोलन तेरा खो प्रभु नानक दे कर हथ नच विद्या निदान निगमंग नच गुण अज्ञा नाम कीर्तन है नच नच विद्या निदान निगमंग नच गुण अज्ञे नाम कीर्तन है नह चंचल चतर चातर है पाग उदम लभद्य साध संगत खल पंडित है तन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी मोहे अनाथ दास जन तेरा वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह सो एज पाई साहिब हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द टॉपिक दैट आई हैव बीन गिवन फेथ एंड डिवोशन एंड प्रतीत एंड प्रीत दे आर लाइक ब्रदर्स दैट स्टैंड टुगेदर आपस विच ही अनदर समेल हैगा यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डेफिनेशन You're going to learn about obstacles, Maharaj Ji. Kirpa kare, and hopefully you get a broader sense of what this is. Though all of us do have it, we also want to let it flourish more. So, starting with the definition, what does faith mean? The Vedic Pradipika is a book which is a commentary on Pai Adin Shah's question and answer. Pai Adin Shah is the third, um, you can say, mukhi of the Se Seva Panthi order. Pai Kaniya Singh is the first. Pai Adin Shah is the third. He, in that commentary, they say a sense of confidence and reliance on God's will, grace, and word. And when you hear faith, you can hear it in various manners, because along with words, there are synonyms. So synonyms such as visah, which is the Sanskrit word, which is rooted in vishvas, prosa, sharda, yakin, pratit. When I hear sharda, it can sometimes mean just preet. It can mean just faith. It can mean both. Sometimes it's a combination of both. I was saying earlier that I'm not one to try to make up stuff myself or tell you something from. what i think i know it's more from the angle that you i want to present stuff to you that's been already said by people that are let's say a class students of the panth okay so first i turn to baba vriyam singh baba vriyam singh ratwara sahib wale how many of you know him few okay very good so they they put out a lot of videos a lot of literature in a time when it wasn't that prevalent but he made an effort because he knew where this uh direction was going now 
like people are going to be using and watching these videos later on and it is completely amazing the pravachans that he shares just one divan is jam-packed with so many teachings and he always starts off with one thing faith is the foundation faith is the foundation faith in why guru faith in Satguru and faith in Nam now this can all be combined as just faith in uh, Satche Patsha right why Guru Satguru and Nam there's no difference it's all Paramatma but just so you can understand I'm gonna go into a little bit deeper no faith in why Guru what does that mean Faith in why Guru that Jami Jaman ke bikhe Samast Jot ek hai Na kaat hai Na baad hai Na kaat baad hot hai The story that I want to share you Share with you regarding this Is Dropti Now Dropti Aam karke if you watch Like Nautics and stuff like that on Mahaparth You've probably seen Dropti you guys kind of understand the story already, maybe some of you don't but all I'm going to do is add a couple of things and show you the Gurmat version the Panj Pandavas and Dropti husbands, five husbands, one wife the wives just bathed their hair she's not in the Sabha the king at that time is Tritrastra his son is Duryodhan and as his name says Yoda, Mara Yoda, a bad warrior, Dur Yodan. Dur Yodan is jealous and he's very attached to having more. He's not willing to even give up the size of a little, um, the end of a needle to the Panj Pandavas. The Panj Pandavas have virtues, especially the Judishta. Now, just some setting the scenery for you okay the five are playing um, Jopard it's kind of like chess but it's, 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 it's in a plus shape size the, the game mat and there's an idea of trying to conquer as much as you can anyways they're playing Chopard Panj Pandavs, Duryodhan he has his cha-cha with him and then there's Tritraster, Pishim Patama all honorable people and then there's um, Dronachari, they're all sitting there and the Chacha has done his own worship, tantric worship where he can manipulate the game. The Panj Pandavs don't know that. So gambling is also being illustrated as a bod bada prad, meaning that you can lose yourself very fast in gambling and lose not just yourself, belongings, people that you love and that started happening that started happening well, Duryodhan got Yudhishthir to wager so many things his brothers became slaves and then he's trying to regain everything back but he keeps losing at one point Duryodhan had his mindset on Dropti he wanted to disrobe her in the Sabha and make her sit on his lap that's what he wanted to do and there was a reason behind that as well because Dropti had laughed at him and called him a son of a blind person because he tripped and fell into what it looked like a garden but it was actually uh, or what looked like a carpet was actually decorated water and he fell into that so to make a long story short he wins and Dropti now is his possession so what does he do? he tells Dusasan bring her in bring her in but grab her by the hair and bring her into the divan they bring her in and she's crying and the Panj Pandavs can't watch this it's her, their wife and they all have their heads lowered and what happens is that the disrobing starts so he says to Dusasan who is his brother that take her kapde off make her nangan in front of everybody and now Tritraster who's blind though but Pishim Patama was the elderly grandfather of the group Dronachari that's been their Vidya teacher they're all sitting there and uh, Bidhar sitting there as well they're all putting their heads down nobody's doing anything 
Nobody is doing anything. They're letting Duryodhan get away with it just for a game. As they're doing this, she realizes that there is no one here. She realizes that nobody is coming to my aid. Nor will my husband stand up. Though one of them did stand up and he said that I'm going to rip that person's chest off when I get a chance. It didn't do anything though at that time. They were going to let it happen. And then what occurred was she realized that I can call out to Krishan Pagwan. But this is where the Gurmat, sta Gurmat story starts and the Hindu story which would a Christian would come to the rescue. But that's not how we interpret it. Now, Hopai Gurdas Ji says, So, Akha meet, Tiyan Tar, Ha Ha Krishan Kare Vilalandi. Yes, she called out to Krishan, Go Vindraban Basi, Dwarka Basi. She started doing this. But something happened. When they were disrobing her, they were disrobing and pulling her robe off. She's being disrobed. And there's only a little bit left before she becomes Nagan. But as she's spinning around, she realizes that I should call out to the one that's beyond, the one that is everywhere. Now Krishna is being said, but it's going to Paramatma. The Krishna that is the Dwarka Vasi or Bindra Vasi or a place who's Ekadeshi, meaning that could be only in one place, is not the one that's going to help her. Because Krishna isn't there. It's Pramatma that's everywhere. Jami Jaman ke bikhe samast jot ek hai. Vaheguruji is everywhere. So she calls out while she's spinning around. She starts, it occurs to her that Pramatma is everywhere. And now all of a sudden, her sari is being spread out, but she's not being disrobed. More and more sari keeps coming out. There's a grant. It's called Sursagar. I think it's one of the Pagats from Guru Granth Sahib Ji. They've written their own Granth as well too. He's written this prasanka and he said, Sari, sari hu ki nari hai ke nari hu ke sari hai. And nobody could determine if it's a woman or is she all sari. Right? Or the other way around. They couldn't tell because there's a mountain pile of kapda and she's calling out to Pramatma with her eyes closed as she's spinning around with the force of Dasasan. Harke, Dasasan lost all of his strength and he fell to the ground and he gave up. Marji ne rakhya kiti. It was Vaheguruji that protected Dropti. Odi laj rakhi. Khausaji, there is a pankti that we read. Pekhat sunat sada hai sange, main murakh janaya duri re. That Paramatma is everywhere and inside of us as well too. So, Pekhat sunat sada hai sange Main murakh janya duri re Pekhat sunat sada hai sange Main murakh janya duri re Pekhat Janya duri re Pekhat sunat sada hai sange Main murik janya duri re 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 Sunat Sada has sung a memoric Jania Duri Re. Pick at the Sunat Pick at the Sunat Sada has sung a memoric Jania Duri Re. You realize it, Gyan Guru Maharaj Vakshdeya, Guru Sahib Sanu Dindeya, that why Guruji is every place and inside of us. Now, the second thing that Baba Variyam Singh would say is faith in Satguru. And here I want to turn, turn to another BB, Bebe Nanaki. Now, Bebe Nanaki, at a young age, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is very small, and she's a couple of years older. And she has Guru Nanak Dev Ji on her lap. 
and she's kissing Guru Nanak Dev Ji's forehead. Pelosi jandi hai, pyaar dei jandi hai. Then she sees Mata Tripta Ji has left. And what does Bibi Nanaki do? She places Guru Nanak Dev Ji on the ground and she starts to matha take. There's a world out there that want to see the brother and sister relationship. But if you read Suraj Prakash, all you're going to hear is a Guru and Gursik relationship. Why? Because she realized that Guru Govind, Govind Guru hai nanik pe dana pai. That why Guruji and Guru Sahib, unna de vich pe de hai ni. Aap na rain kalatar jag mein parvareo. That Paramatma chose to take up 10 forms in a bodily form for what reason? Because humans like learning from humans. They want to see another person in front of them teaching. So for that reason, Guru Maharaj Ji took up those five, 10 bodily forms and then gave the Gurta Gaddi to the eternal Guru Sahib. So, Evi Appa Gali hai Gur Govind Govind Guru hai Nanak Ped Na Pai Govind Guru hai Nanak Gur Govind Govind Guru hai Nanak Ped Na Pai Nanak Ped Na Pai Nanak Ped Na Pai Nanak Ped Na Pai Gur Govind Govind Guru hai Nanak Ped Na Pai So Khalsa Ji, eh taan na Baba Vriyam Singh paardde on desi So I thought I would just kind of get the Sangeet to also sing along with you um, as the presentation goes along. Now, the next one is Faith in Naam. This has Naam ki mehma. Naam ki mehma santan de hirde vasti eta arna parde on desi Baba Vriyam Singh. Because only the saints really understand and appreciate Naam ki mehma. Sai Naam amol kim na koi jaan do. If you tell a child to say Simran or do Wai Guru, sometimes they'll think they'll be just saying Wai Guru, Wai Guru, Wai Guru. But Naam is what created creation. Naam then took up a form as Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Naam is the bridge to Nami. Nami is the source. The source where Naam came from. They're no different. But sometimes Maharaj chooses to describe it in this manner. Naam is that force behind the letters of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. When your surat attaches to those letters of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, that force is revealed. And that force takes you towards Wai Guru Ji, the source, Nami. Have faith in the word of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Have faith that every akhar in Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji can take you to Nami, to the source. Khaskar Ke Pai Veer Singh will mention these two, Nami and Nam, right? So, when you're reading, read it as this is the word of a Kalpurk. Guys, listen, when the word of a Kalpurk came, Maharaj didn't just say, Here, here's the book, I'll give it to you, I'll give it to you. Nor did we call it book, we called it Guru Sahib, nor did we call it pages, we called it Ang. And when Guru Arjan Dev Ji went to Baba Mohan Ji, who had the Gondwal Potiyan, they had the Bani from the previous. Uh, previous Guru Sahibs, he had it, he wasn't willing to give it over. So first, there was Baba Pai Gurdas Ji, Baba Buddha Ji, they would all go individually. Baba Buddha Ji would get closer, but neither did Pai Gurdas Ji or Baba Buddha Ji, nor were they handed the potiya. It would be Guru Arjan Dev Ji, and somehow a meaning comes to Das that it's almost as if like Jimmy Pishle of Tarni Hoy, the Avtars came and they were all powerful. They did good things. But you need Guru Sahib to come himself. It's it's a task that only Guru Sahib would be able to accomplish. But Guru Sahib ne kirpa karni si. And then which way did Guru Maharaji do? He took a saranda and he started doing kirtan. He used Baba Mohanji's name, Mohan, 
but symbolic si Pramatma nu. That it meant he was actually calling out to Pramatma. But every time Mohan came into the ears of Baba Mohan ji, who was the son of Guru Amar Das ji, who had the potiya in the second story uh, part uh, uh, house of Gondwal Sahib, jithe on Guru ka rehega, Khalsa ji, he would hear it. And every time something was melting, his ego was melting, and he realized the same Bani that I'm trying to absorb in, there's more being uttered right now by Guru Arjan Dev Ji. It was Bani calling Bani. Bani calling Bani, and then Bani attracting Bani right away. So Baba Mohan Ji came down, opened the Darvaje, gave it, gave it to Guru Arjan Dev Ji. Maharaj Ji just didn't just take it like that. Please stay on his seats. And there's a Sundar Palang in Gondwal Sahib, placed the Pothiyan there. And then they carried it to Sri Mandir Sahib. But the next Guru Sahib, Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji, meets him halfway, Nange Pari, to do Namaskar, to show Adab for this Bani that's come from Turo. Right? So guys, but that's not it. Then what did Guru Arjan Dev Ji say? Oh, well, I got the pothiya, pothiya. Can I, can I do Prakash of them? I've got the pothiya, I'll do Prakash. They came to Gurdwa, um, Jera At Sat Tirata Sthana, Uthe Le Aisi Pothiya. Fair Guru Arjan Dev Ji said that when in Sampuran Guru Granth Sahib Ji Tiyar Karna, they went to Gurdwara Ram Sahib. There, Pai Gurdas Ji, by Banno bringing the ink, Guru Arjan Dev Ji reciting, they prepared all of Tan City Guru Granth Sahib Ji. But before all this happened, Maharaj was preparing a place, Siddhi Hamandar Sahib. So I tell you, there's no coincidence. Nobody can do this planning ahead. In this world, they can't do this planning that, oh, let's make the most beautiful place on the earth that has so much of us when you go there, and then make it the heart of the six. And then say, now we have to bring the pothi and bring the word of Akal Purk. Planning that far ahead, far ahead. Yes, there's other times that say the, the word of God has come to us. But they didn't make these kind of preparations for the respect for the word of God. If the word of God is going to come. How do you want to treat it? Like a mere book? No. It's your Guru Sahib. You place it at the highest pinnacle of your head. And then Guru Arjan Dev Ji, not resting, all of Guru Granth Sahib Ji is prepared, bring, gives Baba Buddha Ji the duty of the head Granthi. He carries it on a Manji Sahib on his head. Maharaj Ji does Chor Sahib. They bring it to Harmandir Sahib. They do Prakash. And they say to um, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, says to Baba Buddha Ji, Leho Avaj Suno Sab Panth. And Santan Ke Kaar Jaab Khaloya Sab Kam Karavan Aya Ram is the first Mukhvaak that came. And then Maharaj didn't still rest. Then he did a dance by Kirtan. And then when Sokasan Kita, they would take Maharaj to where Jitheon Akal Takht Hagana. There's a room in there. There used to be a place made where Guru Arjan Dev Ji used to rest. But this time now, Guru Granth Sahib Ji would rest on the bed and Maharaj Ji would lie down on the ground. And that chadar is still there today to let you know your Guru Sahib put Guru Granth Sahib Ji ahead of him. Faith in Naam. It's the word of Akal Purk. There is no coincidence here. This is the planning of Akal Purk himself. Everything done perfectly. You have 10 gurus, 10 fingers showing you perfection. Other people, go ahead and try. You will not succeed. What will happen eventually, they all go astray. Apas Vichy, they'll start fighting. But no, it was a Kalapurk and it's all of his game, it's all of his play, and it was all took place. Now, getting back to faith. And um, so, preet, love, devotion, and faith. So, devotion and faith, Sant Kirtar Singh Ji in the city Japji Sahib Tika has written, Gaviya Suniya Man Rakhiya Pao as a translation of that Pankti in Japji Sahib. He's written, Jis Vele Satguru Sahib Ji Gaviya Gondehan Us Vele Sharda Te Vishwas Rupi Kanna Nal Suniya. Saravan Kariya. You have two spiritual ears. Two spiritual ears.
when Satguruji sings or the word of Maharaji is sung in Kirtan Rup, listen intently with the ears of devotion and faith. And that, like I gave that example, I only shared it with one group that Andar Jaake Samaj Ugi. Andar Jaake Samaj Ugi. Now, I thought it would be a little um, to kind of give you guys, because I know it's going to be a little uh, tiring, but there is something I've worked into this presentation that I saw in a movie. Okay? So, one thing is, I used to give this example to the ch uh, when all the kids at Guru Nanak Academy when they were younger. And I even showed the actual video, that's how far I went. But I'm not going to show you the video, I got everything in stills. So, who's watched Indiana Jones? Who's watched Indiana Jones? Has anybody? Oh good, good, so I can ruin it for all of you guys. <laughs> so has anybody seen Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? Wow, this was such a big movie when I was young. But I guess you don't, oh, whatever, it works better for me. Uh, <laughs> so Indiana Jones is a guy, an archeologist. He, this time he's accompanied with his dad and there's a fight between good and evil. World War II, Adolf Hitler sent out a batch of people and they want to find the cup of Christ. What is the cup of Christ for the Christians? It held the blood of Christ. So anybody who drinks the, from that cup is given immortality. Right? Immortality. Okay guys? What happens is his father has studied Pratan Grants and he's come up with three Latin clues to a test that lies before you get the grail of Christ. So the three tests are such, the challenge will be number three. So let's say you get there and those people that are um, the German army as they're getting there, they don't have these clues. He has it in a, like, um, a book which is literally using as a gotka. He's repeating it over and over again. Because how do you pass a test? They're just clues. You want the clue to open up. You want your sort to totally be on what's been written and you want it to open up. Just like there's a hyperlink on a computer and you open it up and all of a sudden something else opens. You literally want that to happen, something that tells you, oh this is how you get through. These are obstacles and why I'm sharing this with you is faith is tested. That's one thing you need to know. Your Love and faith is tested. Baba Arnam Singh Ji says it's daily. You're tested daily. But at times, sometimes both Badipar Kundiya. And if you succeed, it's called Siddhak. Your stance is firm, you can pass. But don't do the mistake what Pai Gurdas Ji at one point did. He wrote it in Pai Gurdas Ji and Vara. And later on, Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji tested his faith. And then when he wasn't able to pass, he hid from Guru Maharaj Ji. And Guru Maharaj Ji would summon him back. And then he says, well, what's your observation now? And he says, what can a Sikh do if he doesn't have Guru Maharaj Ji's kirpa? I tell you, Khalsa Ji, it sits with kirpa. If Maharaj Ji wants, he'll give you it. You have to seek it. Seekers of Maharaj Ji's kirpa. Okay, so, anyways, what are the three tests? First, the breath of God, only a penitent man will pass. Second, uh, vermam di. Second, the word of God. Now it's starting to click a little bit at heart. Only a penitent man will pass, that's a clue. And second, the word of God. And see, only in the footsteps of God will he proceed. And then the, the third one is only in the leap from the lion head Will, uh, will he pre prove his worth? Lion head, well, I'll explain it to you later. I don't want to give it away. <laughs> so anyways, here's Indiana Jones. And he's going, what's happened is his father's shot. They shot his father, he's dying now. The Germans have done it because they want him to go through because all of their men are not passing, they're getting killed, going through. If you have faith, and his father has told him this isn't just a quest for the grail. This is a fight between good and evil. Right? He stands on the good side, 
Just like I told you about Nankana Sahib yesterday, there's a good and uh, there's evil. And Indiana Jones stands on the good side, his hands are kind of buckled together because he's holding the little poti in his hand. He's holding it like this and he's reading it over and over again. His dad is dying, but he keeps telling his boy, you have to believe. You have to believe. You have to have faith. He doesn't want him to be a blasphemer. He doesn't want him to just cast and say that this is just nonsense. He needs to believe in order to pass. Because those that have made this test had a firm understanding of which way they designed those booby traps. Okay? So he's going in and literally you have to be a lion to pass forth through this gate. His father is dying but he wants the grail of Christ so it can, he can take, put water in it and then pour it on the wound so he can um, uh, save his father. So I'm going to share with you a Gurmat Sakhi and it's of Sant Baba Teja Singh Mastuani. Who's heard of Baba Teja Singh? Guys, if we don't know about Baba Teja Singh from BC to Canada, we should know about him because he is instrumental for the Sikhs. He was setting up Gurdwari, making sure Sikhs had the same rights as the other people. He was the for you guys here, you should know him as the first president of the Pacific Coast uh, Casa Devan Society, California, USA. And BC, Gurdwara um, Casa Devan Society was set up by him. He saved the uh, uh, six from being shipped to an island by the people there. There's a lot of things, I can't start counting. But anyways, this is the Jeevani of... Uh, Baba Teja Singh, he has Baba Atar Singh Ji's photo, but it's his life story. Do Paaga, first is Baba Atar Singh Ji, the second one is on Baba Teja Singh. And I'm going to tell you a story that tells of him. He wasn't an atheist per se, he believed in God, but he didn't want to matha take to Guru Granth Sahib Ji. His name was Niranjan Singh Mehta. That's what his initial name Singh, his name was. What happened was one time uh, he decided after a lot of prerna, a lot of convincing that he should come as the vice principal at Khalsa College. But the problem was is that all the students get up and they matha take to Guru Granth Sahib Ji the first thing when they go um, before they start their courses. That was the problem for him. So he would go early and so forth. But then later on when he became the, the principal, it was kind of mandatory for him to be there as well. So he would go there and then he would stand at the very back while nobody can notice he's not matha taking. But something different started to happen. So when you would hear Das, you would hear um, and the heads are starting to go down Baba Teja Singh just standing like there and then he loses consciousness and he falls straight down he falls straight to the ground and it's like hard and then everybody notices and this happened every time every time his mind started to open a little bit why is this happening it was so bad that he had to get two students to stand by him because they knew he was going to fall and they would have to grab him right away. One time he was at home and um, now, well, no, before that, what happened is that he realized that there's some shakti, akarkan shakti, that's his words, akarkan shakti. I'll actually read it out to you, that's the whole reason why I had it here. It's in his own words, okay? Pyare Patek ji, Das ne bhi a vich physics chemistry the course kliyasi. He's a Harvard, a Harvard graduate by the way. A Harvard University and Cambridge. Right? So he's trying to tell you that I've taken science as well. But what's happening to me is beyond that. So Pyare Patek ji, Das ne bhi a vich physics chemistry the course kliyasi. Sare Punjab which MA, which physical sciences, which Ate V, Ate BAV chemistry, which first around. I was first in the top of my class. And he's not bragging, he's trying to lead you to something. So, Apne Vidya de Tajarbe, the Adar, the Dasne, Pertaksiri Guru, Granth Sahib Ji, Ruhani Bani, the Kitch Pertit Kitty, Pertit Manene Vehen. And then he writes it in English, hallucination. 
کر کے نہیں اٹ واز نو ہلوسنیشن دیٹ آئی واز گوئنگ تھرو اوکے سگوں سچ مچ شریر ایک فزیکل طور پہ داس نے سیس سیس نو گربانی دے اکرکن شکتی میگنیٹک میگنیٹک پاور دس از ہم رائٹنگ اٹ اس طرح کھچ لیندی سی اس طرح لوہے دے ٹکڑے نو ایک چمک پتھر میگنیٹ داس دا سیس سری گرو گرنتھ صاحب جی نال جڑ جاندا اتے بہت سارے چیر ہر روز اے دشا رہندی دس از اون ورڈز It's not a hallucination. I've been educated and this is actually happening. Something's pulling me from Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Furthermore, now he starts matha taking. His sharda is going up now. He starts matha taking and one day, time to time it would happen again where he, he would drop. But what happened was one time they would do part at their homes and they would take turns and then they would do ardas. One time it was his mom's turn. And mom bought a poly poly see she didn't really know how to do a proper das. She goes to do her das. Well, Baba Teja Singh says to Koi Namai, Jimmy Vee on the Jimmy Daldi Aegi Her Das Karlo. She gets up and she doesn't name the ten gurus. She just starts doing her das. Pull chuk maaf karni. And then all of a sudden Baba Teja Singh falls. And they all matha take but he regains consciousness but he can't lift his head up. Sereni chak khunda. Why? He couldn't figure out why I can't lift my head up. I'm trying to lift my head up from matha taking, but I can't. And then when the mandi which for na I see ardas ho isi par dasan guru ande nao ni le. Then he said, "Tan Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Tan Sri Guru Angad Dev Ji, Tan Sri Guru Amar Das Ji, Tan Sri Guru Ram Das Ji, Tan Sri Guru Arjun Dev Ji, Tan Sri Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, Tan Sri Guru Harai Sahib Ji, Tan Sri Guru Har Krishn Sahib Ji, Tan Sri Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Ji, Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji." Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji and he was able to lift his head up. What is this power that's pulling him? Maharaj Ji, you know, but there was some uh, force that he's called a magnetic force towards him. So, the first test that Indiana Jones faced, along the way he sees blood and two decapitated men. But what are they doing? Karar dandot punavadda hai. So, A penitent man will pass. A penitent man will pass. A penitent man will pass. He keeps saying that. And what was the first test? And then it came as Anpav. It came to him. He says that a penitent man will kneel before God. Anytime Guru Maharaj Ji comes into your drishti, matha teko the. Then when you get into the Dhawan, zarur matha teko again. But Maharaj Ji comes into your darshan. Thank Guru Maharaj Ji that Guru Maharaj Ji tusi ethon hi darshan de ditta matha ni jo sir sai na nive tan sri guru angad dev ji which we're leading to because pai lana ji tan han guru angad dev ji says jo sir sai na nive so sir dije dar that head should be cut off was it guru angad dev ji that said that That head that does not bow to God should be cut off. Bhagat Friji also says this. And he says it to himself that if I don't bow my head, this head doesn't deserve to be on my body. This head has been given to bow and kneel before God. So right when he kneels, Indiana Jones, a sharp razor comes by his head and he is mathatik, but it doesn't cut his head off. He's through. Moving forth. as your pratit grows but then some don't have that pratit now baba sundar singh ji pindaram wale their whole life has been written in uh, sri gurmukh prakash i've shared it with some of the gur six here about that pothi and all the amazing things that are in there and this is a sakhi from there and i find that guru maharaj ji sometimes hints to me some of the stories to share with you but i can't put my pakka finger i don't have any anpav i don't have nothing but time to time i've seen this pothi give me teachings to share with the sangat and this is one that came on faith by just randomly opening it and what was it was baba sundar singh ji had a lot of pyar for baba atar singh ji right baba atar singh ji that i showed you here this is a photo of baba atar singh ji bahut aapas vich hi pyar si bahut He had just met him, and Baba Adil Singh Ji knew Vidha Kar Kya I see he had uh, seen him off because he had to go somewhere else, and then he went to the Langar Hall and Prashada Shak Desi, 
And then a Gursik came. This is a Gursik that he had met before. And a, his child was sick. And Baba Sundar Singh Ji did, said that part, Karo Guru Granth Sahib Ji da, now the part, the Tiyan, now the Suno, Bacche Nuvi Sanao. But there is one component that went missing in this six head. So, he heard it and then when, when the Sikh comes, he comes to Baba Sundar Singh Ji and he said, they worked. I did the part. I mean, we had the part done and the child is cured. He's all better now. But Mahapurush Gambir, see. He was very serious. Santa Sunne Sunke Pet Bataya. He heard everything first from him. And then he opened up and explained to him. Well, the boy got cured. But you don't have to Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Look, Pratit. You don't have to Guru Granth Sahib Ji. That's why the Jalodhar ki pamari, that Jalodhar di pamari that your child had, Sambi mantan apani pari. I took it upon my body. It's not showing right now because I've saved it for the last moments of my life. I heard this from a group of Singhs that were trying to downplay Baba Sundar Singh Ji's life and I didn't have a jawab for it. They said that why did Baba Sundar Singh Ji go through such a hardship during the last part of his life? You guys don't know. We don't know the play of Mahapurks. They take Bamariya and they know their body's gonna go so they'll just Say that, give me the Bumari during the end, I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll push through it. They take other people's Bumari and take it on their body during the last days of their lives. And this is where he's explaining it. Tante Jalodhar ki Bumari Sambi Maitan apne pari Kabna kei Gur Granth ko patha Kadhi pol ke na vikei that Guru Granth Sahib Ji the part Rok matave nai man saatha That Guru Granth Sahib Ji the part Rok ni matonda Marji Pratak koi bhi rog hove that Marji rog mata din dea Marji can get rid of any disease you name it to the worst cancer that you can think of Marji can get rid of it the thing is parosa some there is kami on our part yesterday I was saying to you guys um, a hukum nama that pagat free jay that jira hai si odi bich a khor pangti hondi hai that's a man me kia rose. Jino Pramatma ne puchya pagat freeze nino. Tu aaj mere naal nahi milaya. That you haven't been united with me. Are you blaming me? Right? Just like people might say that, oh, we blame Guru Maharaj ji because all of this happened. Why did Guru Maharaj ji let all this happen? Right? But Guru Maharaj ji and well, pagat freeze ji, he didn't point his finger. One aaj hath chhod ke Maharaj ji ne kya? Moj avgun. And the Hukam Nama that came after Nankana Sahib told Marji's voice, told the whole Panth that these Gursiks are with me. And who knows this? I know it. Samai Puran Purk Karte. This was part of the Hukam Nama. Samai means they've been merged with me. Samai Puran Purk Karte. Who knows this? Aap ape janiye. Mil jal jale katana ram. Sang jyoti jyot samana ram. Maharaj would say, Mil jal jale katana ram two times within the same shabd. The beginning at the end. The kadivna king, the Guru Granth Sahib Ji rogni matonde. The Maharaj Ji doesn't fulfill your desires. Maharaj Ji is looking out for you more than you are looking out for yourself. And so, Gyani Mal Singh, Jere Kathya Karate on this, he's sitting here Mandir Sahib now. He's uh, one of the Takht Jathedars. He had said something very observant and that he had learned from Baba Kirtar Singh Ji as well as a Vadyati. He says, Jiyo Jiyo Manokh Naam Japta Hai, Gurbani Parda Hai, Te Gonda Hai, Tiyo Tiyo Manokh De Vich Prosa, Sharda Vaddi Jandi Hai. The more you read, more Sharda and Pratit will come. It will come, you'll believe. You will believe. You have to keep repeating. Just like our example of Indiana Jones. Also, Sun Sarda Take Hoi Ai. Jado e kya na? 
ਉਹ ਸਿੱਖ ਦੇ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਰਧਾ ਆ ਗਈ ਮੇਰੀ ਕਮੀ ਸੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਗਲਤੀ ਸੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਸਮਝ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਖੇਲ ਬਾਰੇ ਜੇ ਸਮਝ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਫਿਰ ਤਰਕ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਇਨ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਆਸਕ ਇਨ ਅ ਨਾਈਸ ਮੈਨਰ ਟੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਾਰਜ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਆਨਸਰ ਸੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਕੋ ਮਨ ਮਨਾਈ and on the mind of it he accepted guru granth sahib ji that's how we go through the podium sunne manne and then uh, manne and then we come to the panch parvan podium meaning that a person who practices active listening with sharda and uh, uh, sharda and vishwas karna jide andar leke jande they become the accepted and believers of guru maharaj ji right sunne meaning the people that listen with vishwas and then manne are the people that become the believers so now indiana jones is next booby trap the booby trap is this letters but if anybody sees letters they don't know but do you guys remember what the second clue is anybody word of god word of god So the word of God was that proceed in um in the footsteps of God and it was called the word of God and he keeps thinking now what is it what is the word of God he thinks the name of God in your life you're going to travel and the only thing that will be solid is the times that you have God's name inside of you otherwise to see do sakde hai Five minutes left? I have lots left. <laughs> okay, I'll move faster. <laughs> okay, TKG. So, for them it's Jehovah. And then he goes to put his footstep on Jay and what happens? He falls through. There's emptiness underneath and he grabs a hold and he's about to fall to his death. And he pulls himself up and he says, idiot, in Latin, the Jehovah starts with an I. and he realizes that if i don't even know the letters properly in the name of god how am i going to pass this test so khalsa ji you do naam simran but make sure you understand each letter in our gur mantra has been meditated upon each letter has been passed down from different yogs each letter is the abbreviation for mantras that were recited in those yogs vasudev baba hari har or the ha ha and then you have govind gagga and rara is ram so then you can be able to pass through so there's a line that comes in guru granth sahib ji that you're trying to go towards that amrit remember he's trying to get to that um uh, the grail for immortality right so amrit naam amrit naam nirmol khira and then gur dino mantani my guru sahib has given me the mantar dige na dole drid kar rahe ho puran hoye tripatani dige na dole you won't fall if you have naam inside of you you won't fall to your depths uh, to the depths if uh, or maya's depths if you have naam you'll be sturdy and strong when you're using nam to proceed in your life this is by praminder singh if you guys have never seen him but a gurmukh rusi and he lived by this jope in 1708 bhai nandla singh was told this jope jo mam saath chahe kar baat bhai nandla singh was disturbed by one fact that marji is going to leave his sarir cloak or you can say is his He's going to leave his body. Yes, his jyot is going to be in Guru Granth Sahib ji, but how do I talk in the same way and manner that I talk to Guru Gra- uh, Guru Gobind Singh ji? How am I going to talk to Guru Granth Sahib ji? He says, "Jo mam saath chahe kar baat, whoever wants to talk to me, Guru Gobind Singh ji being quoted by Pai Nandla Singh, Granth ji padhe, sunne, bichare saath, Guru Granth Sahib ji should be read and listened to." and you should try to understand the meanings jo mujh bachan sunan ki chai granth ji padhe sune chit laaye mera roop granth ji jaan no guru granth sahib ji as my roop 
when you come and do namaskar you're doing to my sroop it's guru granth sahib ji unna nu suno padho chit la ke vishwas pratit in naam pai parminder singh well there's one sakhi of baba sundar singh ji that baba gurbachan singh also used to share is there one of the any pratit si maar ji any bakshish dinde si every time he'd go to take hukum nama and he put the ramale back he would see lightning almost like lightning coming out and he said that if he focused on these lightning flashes that were coming out of guru granth sahib ji his mind would get absorbed and he would go into samadhi baba gurbachan singh's own words are falling from baba sundar singh ji remember i'm not making any of this up this is all passed down i've heard it just like lightning flashes from clouds that's how baba gurbachan singh explained it that's how why guru jyots a uh, illumination comes to me marji's jyots illumination comes in that uh, manner and those flashes um uh, baba sundar singh ji says my mind becomes absorbed in and goes into samadhi pai parminder singh di sakhi main tonu sunona faith gets tested faith gets tested the word of god you want to proceed with the name of god then ka said you have to have faith in guru granth sahib ji what happens is that one time guru mar ji spoke now what happens is first it's mar ji's words that you see in shabds that we all can see then guru mar ji opens up and talks to those gur sikhs guru granth sahib ji used to talk to pai parminder singh just how it was described by pai nandlal singh and he told pai parminder singh ਅੱਜ ਦੋ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਇਨ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਯੂਸਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਆਸਾ ਦੀ ਵਾਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸੇਡ ਦੈਟ ਦੋ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਪਰਖ ਹੋਣੀ ਅੱਜ ਓਕੇ ਦੇ ਦੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਾਊਸ ਓਨਰ ਐਂਡ ਹਿਸ ਨੀਸ ਫਰਸਟ ਮਾਰਜੀ ਟੈਸਟਡ ਦ ਨੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਟੋਲਡ ਹਿਮ ਪਾਈ ਪਰਮਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੈਡ ਦ ਡਿਊਟੀ ਆਫ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮਾ ਔਰ ਦ ਸੇਵਾ ਆਫ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮਾ ਐਂਡ ਮਾਰਜੀ ਟੋਲਡ ਹਿਮ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਇਟ ਇਨ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਪਲੇਸ now what commonly people would think that's where the hukum nama comes from aam karke what people know is that jime baba budda ji used to take it according to sekane it was from the left ang from the top if the shab is still continuing then you go back one ang you guys are all familiar with this but marji told him to take it in a different place because when word word of god comes you should have faith that's god talking regardless of if a person takes it from a certain place or another place bhai srote ban ke you have to believe that god is talking that's the mantri the minister that's reciting the word of god as it's been presented to him by god the king so what happened is that he took it in a different place the niece noticed she knew about the hukum namas and she got up and told him to take the hukum nama again khasaji they told him to take a hukum nama again i've heard of things even in uh, canada where one person their parents had taken out the first letter from guru granth sahib ji's hukum nama and named their child but a group in canada when he, when that person decided was well, something's going wrong i need to take amrit with them he took amrit with them and then they wanted to rename him they took can you believe it they took hukum nama i uh, some I, i remember three but at least two times just to rename him and both came as the same letter that was on his name and then they decided okay we better stop you know that now the second test was for the other person um kitne ke minute rahe overtime bus Oh, okay, ठीक है, ठीक है. Okay, I, I'm literally just half through the presentation. Huh? Okay, for this slide, I'll do it in five minutes. Ah, but ten minutes. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, so I came packed. <laughs> not in my, not in my toilet that cheap. Just an after. <laughs> No guys, do you want to finish? Dekh lo, I'm not. If you guys what what do they have after? Okay, chalo theek hai. Anyways, chal de. I'm going to try to move. This happened last time when I came here too. I thought I would not let it repeat, but it's happening all over again. So, 
um, the second test was for the person who owned the house. Now the hukum nama is done. Guru Maharaj in a prayer, Pai Praminder Singh knew. He said, talk to him and say discussion, have a discussion amongst him. And when in discussion say that when there's certain things, we should go and take hukum nama. He said this. And you know what the other person said? He said, no, not for little things. You don't need to go to Guru Granth Sahib Ji for little things. No. That's not how Maharaj you wanted it. And they both failed. But tests do come again as well too. Sant Baba Gurbachan Singh Pindramale has said this in Sri Gurmukh Prakash. He says, Sat Gur Savad Kamaiye Man Ko Prem Lagaye Now Maharaj Ji, that's Shabd Kamao. Just like Indiana Jones is going through, he's going to face his final test. But he says, Kamai Chalo Shabd. Maharaj Ji will talk to you. Right? Sat Gur Savad Kamaiye Man Ko Prem Lagaye Mandavich Jinnavi Prem, thinking about the Sahib Jale, thinking about other Guru Sikhs, to muster up more love, because I know you guys have love for all the Guru Sikhs in our Panth, that you've heard Sakhis of. Then, pick Pratit. When God sees this and sees your faith, Nij Daski, He sees His servant's faith, Nadar Kare Harai. What did we want? We want Maharaji's Nadar. We want Maharaji's. Kirpa. We're in it for Kirpa. That's it. That's all you need to ask for Marji Kirpa de do. Gyan Jinavi Marji Parlo, but Bhyartha if Marji di Kirpa ni ondi. So with the devotional mind, the words of the true Guru should be practiced. Beholding your faithfulness, the Lord's blessings will be upon that servant. Now, this is a wrap-up. This Sakhi is pretty long. If any of you guys do one and you have some bail free time, just come after and I'll do it then. And I'll finish it off. Because the Bibi Rajani is a This is a very integral story in our faith that I have to mention to you this much at least. If for, by chance you don't want to come and listen. How long is Bibi Rajani's Sakhi? I estimate 15 minutes. Take your 15 minutes. <laughs> then you're going to see the next part. No, this is it. Take your 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. Bibi Rajani, the youngest of... There's five daughters in this town of Patti. Some people say seven. So I know some people are probably thinking seven. But Amkar ke Suj Prakash likhe panj. Regardless, she has older sisters. She's the youngest. Bibi Rajani is a person that has faith towards God. And she went to go listen to Katha of a saint. And he was doing Vyakya of Asadivar. Nanak Janto Paar Ke Sammale Sab Naah Jin Karte Karna Kiya Chinta Pi Karni Taah Guru Nanak Dev Ji explains, having created these living beings, he takes care of all of them. The creator who created the creation. Again, the creator who created the creation takes care of it as well. Onna de hath de vecha. Bibi Rajani is a woman that had faith. She heard this and it occurred on a manch vichar rakhli da paramatma imin sambhala in all places. That faith was in Guru Sahib, it was in Vahe Guru and it was in Maharaji's word. All three faiths that I discussed with you previously have been combined together. Now, Bibi Riyajani is the youngest daughter and she and the other daughters are having a discussion. The discussion goes as such that father gives us this, father gives us that. They are bragging about their father. Bibi Riyajani said, no Pano, I heard and I believe it to be true and I want to share this with you is that God has always been our provider. He's been providing for our father and his father. They heard this, they're upset. They go and tell their father. The, the father's name is Dunichan. Shar, he's a small raja of a place called Patti. He hears this, he's upset. He lines them up. He asks them individually that, who is your provider? Who gives you everything? That you are Pitaji, you give us everything. Each of them say, and then it comes to Bibi Rajni. The time 
spark or the test comes. And Bibi Rajini doesn't hold back. She says that Guru Maharaj is my provider and yours. And he burned inside. The mother of Bibi Rajini said, Bachiya, don't do this. Don't. Trying to calm the anger of the father. But the anger saw no limits. He went and thought of all the people that he could marry Bibi Rajini to teach her a test. She's passed that test of faith already. What can he test her with? Her faith is strong. So as this faith, Bibi Rajini's faith is the steering wheel in her gaddi. How said you remember that? What's steering Bibi Rajini in the right direction is faith. Kalsaji, Bibi Rajini is married to a leper, a person who's crippled by his leprosy, meaning he's been a leper for a long time. And he maybe had one or two fingers on each hand and they're bandaged up and blood still seeping through the bandage. And on his feet, the same predicament. He can't walk himself. He can't do anything. So Bibi Rajni is wet to him and she's devoted. Pati Bhartam means devotion to your husband. So she did seva of him in the form that is Parmesha. Because when you do that seva of your husband in that manner, who is it received by? Who do you think gets it? God knows your mind state. God knows how you're doing seva. Even if you do seva of a child that you're raising in Gurbani and you have to clean his bottom, if you say this is going to be a Gursik one day, do it as a seva of a Gursik. It will be received. That is seva. You washing Pandey for Gursiks, if your mother's gone to the Gurdwara, you take the Pandey from her and wash it for her, that counts as seva. Kalsaji Bibi Rajani now is married, devoted to her husband. And she sees that in this place, all the people have been shunned from giving her food. She can't work, she has to drag her husband along. But she has faith in God, which steers her out of that town. She goes to other towns, but other people are disgusted by the leper. So she has to leave him out in the bushes, and then she has to go to town, begging door to door. Some recognize her, some know that's Tuni Chan's daughter, and they would shut the doors. And she would not cry, she would go with full heart and go on to the next door, intent that she's going to feed her husband and then eat herself. Bibi Rajini collects food and would bring it back, feed it to her husband, and they would move on in their day. There would be days they didn't see any food. But now where has they steered to? A village named Tong, which has now come under Amritsar side. Guru Ram Das Ji had started the excavation of that Sarovar that we know as Ra Amritsar. But what happened is Guru Amrit called him back. Because Odi Mahan Tapargat Karnisi, that Sarovar's greatness was going to be revealed. Because Guru Ram Das Ji had said, but it was going to be defined later. Guru Ram Das Ji had said that Amritsar Satgur Satavadi, Jitnate Kaua Kaua Hansa Hohe, Hohe. That where a crow can be transformed into a swan or a mystical bird known as a hunts. Well, this was said, and Bibi Rajini that day had just come, and there's a certain distance she leaves her husband from right at then, just being a pretty muddy rover. They didn't have much, because it would dry up, and when rain would come, that a little pond would fill. So, there's her husband, there's the rover. Right? Just like there were the Machiya and there was Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And he sees a mystical drish. And what is that? He sees a crow come down. And then what did he do? Five times. And then uh, might I mention, this is on the day of Vasaki. This is on the day of Vasaki. And it's already giving reference to what's going to come in the future in 1699. A crow comes and it drinks the water five times. Written in Suraj Prakash. 
five times and then it dips in. It dips in and it comes out safed, white. He rubs his eyes. He doesn't, there's always a little bit of, you know, is this really happening? And then he starts shaking his wagon. He can't use his hands. He shakes his wagon and he drops onto the ground. And then that effort is the effort you need to make towards to get to Amrit. It's a, there it is, there's the Amrit and there's you. But you're crippled by Maya. Kasaji, he used his elbows, trying to pull him. At times you'd flip over and then you try to flip back and just try to get to that Amrit. And he got to that Amrit and he stuck his hand in. And his hand came up with five fingers. It's written in Atiyas. Believe me, this is where your Pratith needs to come intact. All of the fingers were there. As a rush, you started bathing and still he was at the edge. So there's a lot of mud. And he starts bathing even with the mud and the jal that's in that sarovar. He bathes and he is rejuvenated. He's been transformed. He's been given a new life. Bibi Rajini returns to see a man standing there claiming to be her husband. But she's very skeptical. Where is my husband? I don't believe that's actually happening. Now do, uh, all due respect, that's pretty astonishing. That Bibi Rajini, it was because of her faith that came to that sarovar. But when you see something like that, it's very difficult to take in. So she sees her husband, they're having an argument, the townspeople all collect. And they say that nearby is Guru Arjan Dev Ji, let's go to Guru Arjan Dev Ji. So he's come out all rejuvenated and she's claiming that you've killed my husband and now you just want to marry me. And I'm not going to marry you. And her faith is being tested to her husband as well at that time. So they go to Guru Arjan Dev Ji and Maharaji closes his eyes. Maharaji was excavating Santoksar at that time. Tiyan thire or main gur aai jado Maharaji ne akha mitiyan andar onne tiyan tarya sakal baat ko pev janai all of the truth came back ke Maharaji it came to Maharaji cuz oh antar jami si he saw that this is that Amrit Sarovar that my father had started. Now its being, its greatness has been revealed and we will complete that task. This is before Maharaji getting uh, the Govindwal Pothiyan. So, this um, uh, nar, nar meaning man, the husband of Bibi Rajni is telling the truth. It happened on that day. But uh, I'll leave with this slide. <laughs> you look at Harmandir Sahib, how it's designed. This is our head, Akal Takht. It's not shaped exactly towards Harmandir Sahib. It's slanted a little bit. That's to mean we have two eyes, one eye to towards the world and one eye on our heart. If you see a body, I want you to see a head here. If you look down, this is your body. Your body is approximately like 65% water, isn't it? But it's stagnant pond. The moment that you rejoice God's just by letting Jimmy Sangat on the air, why guru, why guru, japke, why guru, why guru, salandi, this is your throat, the dashini deodi. This is a blueprint Guru Arjan Dev Ji prepared for all Gorsiks to know what's inside of them, what you need to prepare. Remember I said an artist in a slab of stone can know what they need to carve out. This is your blueprint. Your, your rejoicing of God is going to give you that golden heart. Maharaji is going to play it in gold later on. Before it wasn't. During Maharaj and Ajit Singh's time it came and this sarovar is going to become immortality inside of you. Chalo, I'll leave with this. Let steer, faith steer you and you'll find the blessings of immortality is not far. Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh.